In this lecture, I am going to explain legacy 6 and legacy 8. We will find critical radius ratio for legacy 6 and critical radius ratio for legacy 8. What you are seeing in the diagram is legacy 6. As you can see in this case, the cation is occupying the octahedral height. Example of legacy 6 is NaCl. And in this case, cation occupy octahedral height. You can look at these two diagrams. In one diagram, in first diagram, you can see that the octahedral height is formed between three anions in one plane and three anions in another plane. Okay, these three anions in one plane and these three anions in another plane, when they come close, they form octahedral height at the center. Or you can see in this second diagram, the cation, this is the cation, that cation is squeezed into four anions, one, two, three, and four. These four anions in one plane, fifth anion is in upper plane and the sixth anion in lower plane. So this cation is squeezed into four anions in one plane, fifth anion is in upper plane and fifth, sixth anion is in the lower plane. So when they when they sit here, they form a octahedral wide at the center. Now in this case, we will consider only these four anions, one, two, three, four. And redraw the diagram separately, which is over here. As you can see that the central point is octahedral wide in which there is a cation. And this cation is in contact with all the six anions. Out of six, these four are in one plane, one on top and one at bottom, below the plane. But we don't have to show the anion which is on top and which is at bottom. We can show only these four anions, which are in contact with each other as well as they are in contact with central cation. To find critical radius ratio for ligancy 6, I will join center of these four anions. Which is forming a square. Okay, this will form a square. A, B, C, so this ABCD is the square. And length of the square is is twice the radius of an and all lengths are same AB, BD, BC sorry, CD and AC. That is equals to twice RA. I want to show here one more tri uh, triangle which is formed by joining the center of anion to the center of trapeze. 
and then I will draw the contact point of these anions and center of cation. Let's say this point is D here and this point is E. And consider triangle C D E. In this triangle, angle C is equal to 45 degree. Length C E is equals to radius of anion and length CD is equals to radius of anion plus radius of cation. Then let's find cos 45. Cos 45 is equals to length of C divided by length of CD. For convenience, let us take 1 by cos 45, which is equal to length of CD divided by length of CE. We know that length of CD is RA plus RC and length of CE is equal to RA and 1 by cos 45 is equal to 1.414. This we can simplify further is equal to 1 plus RC upon RA or RC by RA is equal to 0 0.414. So this is nothing but critical radius ratio for ligand C6, okay, which is 0 0.414. It means that this ligand C4, sorry, ligand C6 is possible when RC by RA is in between. 0 0.414 to 0 0.732. 0 0.732 is critical radius ratio for higher ligancy. And the higher ligancy is 8. Ligancy 6, then ligancy 8. As we saw, ligancy 5 and 7 are not possible. Then we will study the ligancy 8. Ligand C8, the example of ligand C8 is cesium chloride. We already studied this cesium chloride in which cesium is a cation which is surrounded by 8 chlorine anions. And you can see that diagram like this. In one plane, there are four. The cavity is formed. That cavity is occupied by cation. And in another plane, there are four anions. When they sit on each other, they form the cubic unit cell. Okay, what you see is cubic unit cell in this case. And in this case, cation is at body center. And this is the critical condition. It means the cation is, this cation is in contact with all the eight anions. And all the anions are in contact with each other along the edge. Let me show separate diagram for that. Here you can see I have shown only three anions. This is the center cation. Along the body diagonal, anions and cations are in contact with each other. We know that body diagonal for cube is root 3 RA. 
and along this body diagonal theta ions and anions are in contact so this is equals to twice the radius of anion plus twice the radius of cation this is our one equation one then as you can see here along the edge which is a two anions are in contact with each other so this is not root 3 this is root 3a root 3a is equals to root 3a is the body diagonal and that is equals to twice the radius of anion plus twice the radius of cation now this a is also equals to twice the radius of anion this is equation 2 so anions are in contact with each other along the edge let us solve this two equation we will replace this a with 2ra so in this case root 3 into 2ra into twice the radius of anion is equals to 2ra plus 2rc 2 is common everywhere so i will cancel to here here and here so what i get is rc is equals to root 3 minus 1 ra root 3 minus 1 is nothing but 0 0.732 ra and therefore rc by ra is equals to 0 0.732 and this is nothing but critical radius ratio for ligancy 8 and ligancy 8 is stable in a radius ratio of cation to anion in the range 0 0.732 to 1 okay now this is 1 here 1 means rc by ra equals to 1 it means that rc is equals to ra radius of cation is equals to radius of anion no such example is available for ionic crystals but if you take FCP hexagonal close packed or FCC face center cubic metals and the structure they form will have this ratio equals to 1 radius ratio but no such a ionic crystal is possible so when rc by ra is in this range 0 0.732 to 1 you get ligancy 8 you get a stable ligancy 8 now while studying this we observed that i already explained you why ligancy 2 not possible for the same reason ligancy 5 is not possible then ligancy 7 is not possible ligancy 9 10 11 not possible for the same reason I explain in ligancy 2 why ligancy 2 is not possible because instead of 5 we can fit 6 anions and so 6 is possible similarly instead of 7 we can fit 
eight anions in the same space and same reason for that. So the legacy is over.